The movie opens and we see a girl named Noah packing her clothes. She is going with her mom Rafaela to her new home her father left them and her mother married another man named William Lester. On the way her mom tries to talk with her but Noah is not happy and doesn't want to leave her old house. Her mom tells her you're 17 and will soon make new friends there. After a long drive, they reach there and mother introduced Noah to William, her new stepfather. Then Rafaela takes her and shows her complete house a gym spa, a pool, and a luxury car. But she doesn't seem happy and asks William about a library and a guest room for rest. Her mother takes her to her room and tells her that she did everything for her, Noah says it's amazing and says thanks to her mom. They hug and Noah says sorry about her rude behavior, her mom talks about her new stepbrother Nick. After listing Noah says yeah he is perfect a rich daddy's boy, Rafaela tells her you also have the same rights now she leaves after saying this. Noah unpacks her clothes sees a picture of her father and receives a phone call from her friend. She starts sharing everything on the phone call and also tells her friend about her stepbrother Nick. Noah also tells her about the family dinner and she says I'm not happy with all this while, talking on the phone Nick comes in front of her Noah drops her phone on the floor. They argue and Nick asks her name but she doesn't tell, her friend is on the phone and she calls her by her name. After learning her name Nick says to her that's a boy's name. Noah turns back to pick up her phone and she faces Nick's dog. She is frightened to see the dog and asks Nick to keep his dog away from her, Nick starts laughing at her she picks up her phone and hides behind his back. Nick calms down his dog and calls Noah her sister, but she says I'm not your sister. In between their arguments, their parents arrive they are happy to see them. Noah leaves and comes back to her room her friend is on the phone. In the evening everyone is ready for the family dinner waiting for Noah, Noah comes down wearing her normal dress seeing her William tells her you are looking stunning but, her mother doesn't like that. On the way to dinner, Noah is sitting in her parents car texting her boyfriend Dan. Then Nick arrives in his own car and looks at Noah, he speeds up his car and leaves them behind. In the hotel, William introduces Noah and Rafaela to the hotel staff. At the dining table, they talk about the beauty of the city but, Noah says there are a lot of forest fires around here in summer. William tells her there have been two already in this summer. Her mother says it usually happens when someone throws a cigarette, Noah asks Nick do you smoke? But his father tells her he doesn't smoke. Noah and Nick start arguments again and Nick decides to leave, Nick whispers in Noah's ear and she also decides to go home. Lester asks Nick to leave her at home but, Nick says I've to go to my friend's house for work which is already late. Listening to this Noah says I'll take a taxi, William gets angry and tells Nick to leave her first. On the way, Nick drives the car ruthlessly Noah tells him to slow down the car. Nick says how did your mother bear you? Noah says you don't about the mother's love. Nick got angry after listening to this and stopped the car, he told Noah to leave the car and go home alone. He drops her in the middle of nowhere and is gone. She starts walking and tries for the lift, but suddenly a boy stops his car and offers her a lift. Noah hesitates at first but then she sits in the car. He tells his name Mario and asks about her, she tells her name and asks him where he is going. Mario tells her that he is going to the late night party and also invites her. Mario asks Noah where she lives, she tells him I'm staying at Lester's house. Mario immediately recognizes and asks her about Nick, Noah tells him Nick is her stepbrother. Mario is shocked after hearing this and says Nick dropped you because he was late for the party. They reach the party and Mario tells her about the rules and the gangs of the party. He tells her that every gang has its own badge and our gang has a red badge. She sees Nick kissing girls, drinking, and dancing she punches Nick on his face, Nick asks who'd you come with. Nick tells her to back home but she says no I'm staying here until I want to leave. Nick scolds her and she threatens him that I will tell this to your father. Nick leaves her and says stay away from my way. A girl named Jenna comes to Noah and says everyone is enjoying themselves here you also have to but Noah refuses. While they are talking a boys comes and starts kissing Jenna, he is Jenna's boyfriend. Noah goes to the other side of the party and a boy asks her for a drink she takes a sip but it's rum mixed in the Coca-Cola. Nick punches that boy and takes Noah home, she is drunk and feeling dizzy. While sleeping she starts dreaming about how her mother hides her in the closet from her father. In the morning she worries about the last night but her mother tells her that she received her message that you were at Jenna's house. Actually, Nick messages her mother, and then her mother asks Noah about friends she screams and says I don't want to make new friends I already lost Dan and you did this to me and leaves. Noah is sitting on the beach reading a book while Nick comes there to surfing with his friends. Noah says don't touch my phone again and Nick says don't ruin my party again. Noah sees Nick while he is changing clothes, Jenna tells her girls are obsessed with Nick. Scene shifts and we see a man drifting his car at the racing spot. Nick and Ronnie going to start a race and Noah also reaches there, race starts and Nick wins the first round and the crowd applauds him. He kisses Anna, Noah looks at them, 
and asks Jenna about Anna, Jenna tells her that Anna is not her girlfriend his only girlfriend is his car. Noah receives a message and sees pictures of his boyfriend who is kissing Noah's friend, she gets angry and abuses him. Then she starts drinking and dancing kissing another boy sitting in Nick's car and taking pictures for Dan. Nick sees them and comes boy runs after seeing him. Noah tells him everything and Nick says I'll kiss for the pictures and then you've to leave. Noah agrees and they start kissing she takes pictures after this Nick asks her to sit in the car and leaves. Later Ronnie comes there and tells her that you are on the racing track now she has to race. Noah tries to explain to Ronnie that Nick will race but he says if you leave I'll win the race. Nick is busy making love with Anna, the race starts and in a couple of seconds, she leaves Ronnie behind. Seeing this Ronnie gets angry and starts hitting the car but she throttles the car and wins the race. Ronnie tells Nick you've to race with me but you didn't and now you've broken the rules and now I'm taking your car. They start fighting Noah sitting between the fight frighteningly. Jenna takes Noah into the car Nick also manages to sit in the car and they leave from there. The next day Rafaela wakes her up and tells her about the business party, Noah asks her mother about Nick. Her mother tells her that Noah is not in the home for the last four days. Later she sees that her mother and William talking and sharing love moments. Nick sitting with a little girl Maddie who is her sister from his own mother, Maddie tells him that her mother is leaving again. Nick loves her and tells her mother will come back soon. Nick comes back home and sees Noah lying on the couch, he sits with her and talks about drifting. Moments later they start making love and kissing while they decide to stay away from each other. Rafaela comes and tells Nick that his father is calling him. In the morning Noah is washing the car and Nick comes and she says don't come near, she wet her clothes and says you can see from far away. Her mother comes back home with Dan but Noah doesn't want to see him. Later at the pool Noah tells Nick about Dan and says she is worried about the pictures and says Nick doesn't come in front of Dan. Dan wants to say sorry about everything but Noah says I don't want to be with you anymore. Nick jumps into the pool and the water appears on Dan's shirt, Nick's friends take Dan away. Then he pulls Noah into the water and starts kissing hiding from Dan. On the other hand, Ronnie is talking with a man who gives him some kind of task. Nick is at the party and comes outside and Ronnie also comes there and asks Nick about a lift in his car which he wins. They fight and Nick comes back home beaten, he sees Dan going into Noah's room and comes outside. He sees Noah is sleeping outside on the table. He sits near her and touches her body she wakes up and punches him. After some talking, they start making love and kissing suddenly, Dan comes and sees them Noah asks him to leave and says don't tell anybody about this. The next morning Noah receives a letter which makes her upset. They go outside to fight but Noah doesn't know about this at the parking lot Noah gives Nick a toy car and they kiss. Jenna tells Noah about the fight she tries to stop Nick but Anna urges him, Nick goes into the ring and Noah goes outside. Mario and Noah are kissing Nick sees them and punches Mario, Noah gets angry and tells Nick to stay away from her. They start living separately and Noah finds a job at the restaurant. Some days later William tells Nick about Noah's father and how he tortured Noah and her mother he was in jail but he came out and this is dangerous for Noah. William tells Nick to take care of Noah, she is at Jenna's house and partying when she comes out to go back home someone is watching her luckily, Nick reaches out and takes her home. Nick asks her father Noah tells him that her father died for her may he burn in hell then they spend a night together. In the morning when Willem comes to wake up Nick, he sees both of them sleeping together, he gets angry and tells Nick that Maddie is in the hospital. Nick rushes to the hospital and sees that Maddie is out of danger and fine. Then Nick and Noah spend the night together when they are coming back home, on the way Nick goes into the store, and outside Ronnie and two other guys grab Noah and put her into Ronnie's car and take her. Noah sees and tells her father they call the police and see CCTV footage. When Noah wakes up she screams at Ronnie but instead of Ronnie, her father appears. Seeing her father she is shocked her father tells her about letters and calls Rafaela. Rafaela picks up his call and Willem grabs the phone and asks him about money, he tells him he wants 10 grand and also mentions the location then Jonas talks to Ronnie and knocks him down. William and Rafaela reach his given location Nick also reaches there with a police officer. Noah and her father come out in the car and Jonas tells her to drive fast, Nick sees Noah is driving and starts chasing them. Noah drives a car very fast and after a long chase they stop them at the shipyard, Jonas pulls a gun on Noah while Nick is in the car in front of them. Nick and Noah plan and both drive at speed, when they reach near they drift their car and the police officer shoots Jonas in his head and he dies on the spot. Rafaela and William also reach there she hugs her daughter and says thanks to Nick. Later Nick sneaks into Noha's room and they happily hug. Their parents worry about their relationship and Rafaela wants to separate them. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification, so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.